Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Glen Allen High School versus Huguenot High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome, I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. This is our 21st season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Jaguars of Glen Allen High School, coached by Scott Mewborn. Glen Allen High School is a public high school in Henrico County, which is a suburb of Richmond. The school's theme this year is Empower, Excel, Embrace, Our Community, Our Success, reflecting the commitment to empower every student to reach their full potential. Also with us today, the Falcons of Huguenot High School, coached by Justin Hahn and James Key. Part of the Richmond Public School System, the stated mission of Huguenot High School is to provide its 1,500 students with a high-quality education that prepares, ensures, and empowers all to achieve their full intellectual and social potential. It's great to have all of these students here with us today. We'll introduce you to them coming up. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players who want to answer will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before giving their answer. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, good luck. Let's start the first toss-up round. The desert drawings known as the Nazca Lines are located in which South American country? Yusuf. Peru. Correct. What was the name of the commander of the American Expeditionary Force sent to France in 1917 to aid the British, the French, and their allies in World War I? Yusuf. Pershing. John J. Pershing is correct. Elaine, Kramer, George, and Jerry were the main characters in what long run? Alessandro. Seinfeld. Correct. Still running in reruns. What was the name of the Nazi French puppet state during World War II? Yusuf. Vichy France. Correct. Travis Kelsey is the Super Bowl winning all pro tight end for which NFL franchise? Chiefs. Luke. That is correct, the Kansas City Chiefs. It was the longest bridge span in the world when it was completed in 1937 at 1.7 miles. Name this bridge in the Western Bay Area. Carter. Golden Gate. Correct. Spain's Moriscos during the period of the Inquisition were forcible converts to Christianity from what rival faith? Malia. That is incorrect. John Allen, Yusuf? Islam. That is correct. What world leader did Donald Trump famously refer to in 2017 as Little Rocket Man? Carter. Kim Jong-un. Correct. What was the international team name of the Washington Nationals baseball franchise prior to becoming the Nationals in 2005? Yusuf. Uh, Redskins. That is incorrect. Huguenot? Malia? Fox. They were the Montreal Expos. An increase of 20 of these units indicates a tenfold increase in a quantity such as sound intensity. Name these units. Hertz. Hertz. That is incorrect. Yeah. Huguenot? Malia? Frequency? They would be decibels. Mm. What is the form of nonfiction writing often required of students on exams, contests, and college applications? Matt. Essays? Correct. In physics, what is the name given to the device used to accelerate a charged particle? Yusuf. Particle accelerator? That is incorrect. Huguenot? Accelerator? Matt? It would be a cyclotron. Mm. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Not counting a basement. How many stories are in a suburban ranch-style house? Uh, Malia. Two. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen? Oh, Luke? Three. It's actually one. It's a single-story house. In the classic comedy, collectively, Larry, Moe, and Curly are known by what name? Flint. Three Stooges. Yes. That is correct. All right, you name me and need your pencil and paper for this one. Integrate and simplify the expression 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. And that would be x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x. 
Princess Merida with her triplet brothers, Harris, Hubert, and Hamish, are characters in which Disney movie? Matt. Brave. That is correct. Set in medieval Scotland. By what name is dihydrogen monoxide better known? Yusuf. Water. Correct. What is the name of the Saudi Arabian city which contains the tomb of the prophet Muhammad? Carter. Mecca. That is incorrect. Huguenot. And that would be the city of Medina. When he left office, he told a friend that he only had two regrets, that he had not been able to shoot Henry Clay. Carter. Andrew Jackson. Correct. Or hang John Calhoun. That buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far, but there are a lot more questions to come. Up next, we'll introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Glen Allen High School with 90 points. Our team from Huguenot High School with 40 points. And we'll get back to our match and questions just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. Let's start with our team from Glen Allen High School. The Jaguars are coached by Scott Mewborn. First up is Luke Rakowski, who is a sophomore who enjoys history and likes volleyball. He'd like to study European history and eventually go to college overseas. Our next player is Carter Bowman, who is a senior. He likes to travel around the country to ride roller coasters and plans to chase some Japanese coasters this summer. He's a member of the National Society of High School Scholars and wants to study mechanical engineering at Virginia Tech. Our team captain for Glen Allen High School is Yusuf Shakru, who is a senior. He enjoys reading, is a member of Rho Kappa, Mu Alpha Theta, and the Science National Honor Societies, along with the Model United Nations and Technology Student Association. He's interesting in, interested in exploring mathematics and pre-med studies in college. And wrapping up our Glen Allen team is Carter Thomas. Carter is a senior who enjoys reading history. He likes to go hiking and watch horror movies, hopes to study political science in college. That's our team from Glen Allen High School. Now let's meet our team from Huguenot High School. They are the Falcons and their coaches are Justin Hahn and James Key. First up is Clint Rambersad, who is a senior. He enjoys uh, dual enrollment and is an AP student. He enjoys reading, trivia, cooking, games, and watching TV. He'd like to major in medicine. Next up is our team captain, Alessandro Mejia, who is a senior. Alessandro enjoys cartoons, music, and Quentin Tarantino films. He plans to go into a trade. Specifically, he'd like to become a welder. Next up is Matt Blancet, who is a senior, plans to study political science and mass communications and pursue a career in photojournalism. He enjoys politics, puzzles, and music. And next up is Malia Harris, who is a senior who has plans to go to Savannah College of Arts and Design for Illustration and Architecture, wants to illustrate and write children's books. We wish you luck with that. She's part of the Early College Academy as well, working toward her associate's degree along with her high school diploma. All right, now that we've met our team players, let's go to the category round, where each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are Arkansas, 20th Century American Presidents, and the letter G. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team. There is no deferring. They may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers, however. By the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. That is our team from Glen Allen High School. Yousef, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you'd like to play. Um, 20th Century American Presidents. All right, identify each 20th Century President from the following clues. First is signed the Lend-Lease Act. Roosevelt Final. I need you to be more specific. Franklin, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Final. Correct. This president started the Peace Corps. Kennedy. John, John Kennedy Final. That is correct, John Kennedy. Won a Nobel Prize for mediating peace between Russia and Japan. Roosevelt Theodore Final. Correct. Became Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Martaf. Taft Final. William Howard Taft is correct. Received a record 525 electoral votes in 1984. Reagan. Reagan, final. Ronald Reagan, correct. Broke the Soviet blockade of Western Berlin with an airlift. Truman, final. Harry Truman is correct. Championed the Great Society. 
Johnson, Johnson, final. Lyndon Baines Johnson, correct. Stress day return to normalcy. Harding, final. Correct, Warren G. Harding. Pardoned Vietnam War draft dodgers. Carter, final. Jimmy Carter's correct and was investigated by special prosecutor Kenneth Starr. Clinton final. Bill Clinton is correct. Good job on that. And that is a sweep of the category and a 20 point bonus for our team from Glen Allen High School. Congratulations. Good job on that. All right, Huguenot, your category will either be Arkansas or the letter G. Alessandro, talk it over and let me know what you'd like. Letter G. All right. Answer the following. All the answers begin with the letter G. First is once thought to ward off vampires. Garlic. Garlic. Correct. Style of architecture that used flying buttresses. Gothic. Gothic. Correct. Animated spokesperson for Geico. Gecko. Correct. Made by boiling down the bones and skin of animals and is sometimes added to jello. Gelatin. Gelatin. Correct. Horticultural process used to create hybrids. Gene. Gene. It would be grafting. Large African antelope with an ox-like head. Gazelle. Gazelle. That would be a new GNU. A series of parallel crisscrossing lines. Grid. Grid. Grid is correct. French device used for cutting off heads. Guillotine. Guillotine. Correct. Greek dish containing meat, tzatziki sauce, and pita bread. Gyro. Gyro is correct. Gyro. A small wooden hammer used by judges. Gavel. 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 Gavel is correct. Good job on that G category as well. And a good job by both of our teams in the category round. Up next, we'll have another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Glen Allen High School with 160 points. Our team from Huguenot High School with 80 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And just a reminder for our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. And there's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, here we go. On December 3rd, 1947, the play A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams opened on Broadway. What American city is the setting for this play? Matt. Chicago. That is incorrect. Glen Allen. Carter. New Orleans. New Orleans is correct. It requires that warrants must be founded on probable cause. Which constitutional amendment forbids unreasonable search and seizure? Yusuf. The fourth. Correct. An interregnum is a period when normal government is suspended. Spell interregnum. Matt. I-N-T-E-R-E-G-U-M. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen. Luke? Interruptum, I-E-T-E-R-R-U-M. That is incorrect. Interregnum is spelled I-N-T-E-R-R-E-G-N-U-M. Who is known as the 14th century maid of New Orleans? Maid of Orleans. Orleans. Yusuf? Joan of Arc. That is correct. These unsaturated hydrocarbons were originally named olefins or oil formers. Named Fats. Fats. That is incorrect. Name these organic compounds that contain a carbon-carbon double bond. Glenn Allen. Yusuf. Unsaturated fats. They're called alkenes. From the Latin for how much, what is the science term for an indivisible physical amount? Yusuf. An atom. That is incorrect. Huguenot. It would be a quantum. Now the subject of a television series, what former slave is historically noted as the first black deputy U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi River? Carter. Bass Reeves. Correct. Believed to be the inspiration for the Lone Ranger. Spell Mississippi. Alessandro. M-I-S-S-I-P-P. I know. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen. Yusuf. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 that is correct. 
What type of dangerous currents do lifeguards say? Uh, actually, this is our video question. Let's go to the video question from a member of our Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. What dangerous current do lifeguards advise to swim parallel to shore to get out of? And Matt. Riptide. That is, yes, yes, yes. That is correct, a riptide or rip current. My Immortal and Bring Me to Life are hits by what band? Matt. Evanescence. Correct. What is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea? Yusuf. Sicily. Correct. In the course of the 18th century, Baal Shem Tov, born in the Ukraine as Israel Ben Eliezer, founded what branch of Judaism? Yusuf. Um, reformed. That is incorrect. Huguenot? Malia? Orthodox? It's actually Hasidism. In the decade of the 1990s in Rwanda, the Hutu, the Hutu majority waged a civil war against what ethnic minority? Matt. Tutsi. Correct. 140 of these were produced over a period of three years. Each hand illustrated page had 42 lines of the Latin Vulgate translation. Name this book printed in Mainz, Germany. Yusuf. Gutenberg Bible. That is correct, using movable type. The Latin word for sour gives the name for these compounds, which, depending on the definition, may either accept an electron pair or release protons in solution. Name these substances that can turn blue litmus paper red. Clint. Acid. Correct. Playing what board game would you possibly find yourself going straight to jail without collecting Matt? Monopoly. Correct. Collecting that $200. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which team is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores now as we head into the final round. Glen Allen High School with 230 points, Huguenot High School with 120 points. And now for this final toss-up round, the point score for correct answer is doubled. So is the penalty, though, for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. Good luck, teams. This is our final toss-up round. According to 24-7 Sports, what Idaho University's football team has the nation's highest win percentage since 2000 with 83.5? Malia. Bulls. The Bulls. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen. Luke. The Buffalo. We're talking about university football teams, the Boise State Broncos. Ohio State is second. What city is the capital of North Carolina? Yusuf. Raleigh. Correct. What branch of the U.S. federal government is headed by the president? Alessandro. Executive. Executive is correct. A one kilogram ball of putty traveling at one meter per second smashes into another one kilogram ball of putty that is not moving. The balls stick and become one two kilogram ball of putty. What fraction of the kinetic energy in the original moving ball was converted to heat during that collision? Malia. Two. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen. Uh, Yusuf. One half. One half is correct, 50%. <clears throat> the infamous Sierra Nevada Donner Pass is located in which U.S. state? Matt. Arizona. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen. Uh, Yusuf. Nevada. It's actually in California. In a calendar year, how many months have 31 days? Luke. Eight. That is incorrect. Huguenot? Matt? Six. There are actually seven. January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. A low temperature one morning was minus eight degrees Fahrenheit. By two o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature reached 24 degrees Fahrenheit. By how many degrees Fahrenheit did the temperature rise? Carter. 32. That's correct. Buzz Lightyear's catchphrase is to infinity and beyond. Matt. Toy Story. That is incorrect. I'll finish the question for Glenn Allen. What real life Buzz actually walked on the moon? Carter. Buzz Aldrin. Correct. Who was the presiding judge who gained international recognition during the 1994-95 double murder trial of O.J. Simpson? 
Luke. Gutenberg. That is incorrect. Hugo. <laughs> Alessandra. Robert Kardashian. He was one of the lawyers, but the judge was Lance Ito. According to the nursery rhyme, what was Little Miss Muffet eating when she sat on her muffin? Matt. Christmas pie. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen? A muffin. That is incorrect. She was eating curds and whey, which is also mm. known as cottage cheese. In meteorological terms, isobars are lines which on a map connect points on the Earth's surface of equal pressures of what kind? Yusuf. Low. That is incorrect. Huguenot? Flint? High. They would be barometric or atmospheric pressures. The prohibition of the sale and consumption of alcohol made law in the United States by the 18th Amendment was repealed by what later amendment? Alessandro. 20th. That is incorrect. Glenn Allen? Yusuf? 21st. 21st is correct. What vector quantity whose cross product with a magnetic field appears in the Lorentz force law is equal to the rate of change of position? Yusuf. Velocity. Correct. In 2018, Sadiq Khan became the first Muslim mayor of what European? Yusuf. London. That is correct. Capital city. A 1964 incident in what gulf sparked a significant American military? Yusuf. Tonkin. Correct. Presence in Vietnam. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Solve for x in the following equation. 9x plus 3 equals 30. Yusuf. 3. x equals 3, yes. That buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Trinity Episcopal School versus Nansman Suffolk Academy. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which team will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 120 points, our team from Huguenot High School. Great job today by Malia, Matt, Alessandro, and Clint. Our winners today with a final score of 410 points, our team from Glen Allen High School. Congratulations to Luke, Carter, Yusuf, and Carter. And we'll see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.